All right, ladies and gents, in today's video, we're out at uh, beautiful Lake Hemet. Let's see how we did. Snail this rail to free motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's off. Oh, no, wait. He's on. He's on. Yeah. I'm hung up. Yeah, he's gone. Yep. Yeah, I was just sitting there, letting it sit there. He's talking to me, you let it sit there for a second. Bam! Cool. Yeah, I don't think there are very many trout right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Junky bro. Uh, brown trout, maybe brown trout, I think. Yep, I saw silver. Uh, in my truck, just watch the rides. Go. Just keep him right there. He doesn't fucking put that on his website. Oh, he's got another line in him. Alright, there we go. Three gram uh, RHA uh, brown trout. Oh, on the bait and weight rod. <laughs> I got him. Huh? Yeah, it feels pretty heavy. Found that uh, Golden State mice tail. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need the net for this one. Make sure I'm recording. Yep. No, he's not that big. He's nice. Probably about a three. Can't tell. Oh yeah, it is. I didn't know they put lightnings in. Well, no, 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 I mean with this last stock. Yeah. Yeah, it probably is.
Okay, so the lightning hit that, that color? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. Those lightning sure don't want to quit. Nope. There we go. Alright. Get on my spoon. Oh, there we go. Oh, sure. I should have brought my little one. All right. Rainbow. Yeah, we only keep them if we kill them on accident. We only keep them if we kill them on accident and then we eat them. Yeah, we do a lot of catch and release. I eat them. Oh, you got the worm. Oh, you don't have a worm on your spoon? Oh, yeah, it does. I love it with that happens. Some of my wigs are. Somebody else? Same spoon? Oh, okay. It's got red in it. Yep, bleeding toad slayer. Yeah. He's all tired. Yeah. Might have been dragging him for a little while. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, there you have it. Uh, good day over at uh, Lake Hammett. Uh, finally starting to get a handle on that place, starting to figure out where the spots are, where the trout like to hang out. Um, uh, but the uh, first few times, it was kind of tough going there for me. Uh, didn't have a lot of luck, uh, but really didn't know where to go. Um, uh, that lake is very similar to Big Bear. Uh, once we got out on the uh, on the boat, uh, Greg had a fish finder, and uh, you could see the depths and all that. And uh, for the most part, the front part of it's very shallow. It's not very deep at all. As you get further back, once you get past the fences and everything, back towards the dam, it gets gets significantly deeper. But very very similar to uh, Big Bear Lake. So I'm thinking in the summertime, uh, I might go out there with uh, slip bobbers and the kayak and. Uh, and see because uh, the fish even when we were there were starting to suspend a little bit. I definitely want to give a big shout out to uh, our buddy Greg. Uh, he's a nice guy we met there and he offered to take us out on his pontoon boat uh, which was great because the bite kind of slowed where we were out on the shoreline. Once we got out in the boat we could use the uh, the old fish finder and track him down 
And then uh, Mike had an absolute sleigh day on the spoons. Uh, uh, I got a bunch of bumps. Greg got a bunch of bumps, but we didn't hook up out on the out on the boat. It was it was all Mike, <laughs> and uh, uh, he was cleaning house. So uh, so good thing uh, I was there for that. And uh, uh, I always like to see uh, at least one of us getting to get into a good bite. If you want to uh, get yourself some of those RHA spoons, uh, I'm gonna have the website right here. They're all uh, custom made, hand painted. Uh, Luke does a real good job, and uh, if you follow the channel, you can see those spoons really, uh, really slay. Um, if you want to get some of the uh, Golden State custom baits, uh, I was using the Golden State mice tails out there. Cut that that nice lightning on. Uh, I've been having a lot of luck with those now. Uh, uh, Esteban just came out with those uh, earlier this year, and uh, uh, been fishing them, uh, been floating them on uh, number ten mosquito hooks. And doing real, real well. That uh, that sunny D color actually works real well at the mud hole. It's a real, real great color for the mud hole. I've had a lot of luck with it there. Um, but make sure you uh, uh, check out uh, Golden State Fishing. And uh, uh, at checkout, use code CSPANKER and you get uh, 10% off. But uh, even even though they haven't stocked uh, Hemet in a few weeks, uh, there are a ton of fish in that water. We could see them on the, uh, on the old fish finder. Um, so they're in there, um, and that's a, a higher altitude lake. It's up in the mountains there, and uh, uh, so it stays a little bit cooler. Uh, so you definitely have a shot at those things still, probably well into June. Uh, I imagine you could, uh, could, could have a successful day out there fishing for them. I'm, I'm sure uh, those fish survive all year round in, the, uh, in that lake as, as high up as it is. I imagine it stays fairly cool. Uh, but I don't know for sure. Uh, maybe you can, you can, if you know, comment and uh, uh, let me know. Uh, but it seems like they would live. Uh, but who knows, you know. Um, but until next time, uh, always remember to like and subscribe. Make sure you leave me lots of questions or comments. Uh, hit me up on my Instagram as well. Uh, it's a good way to get a hold of me. And uh, I think uh, next trip, I don't know. I think uh, Green Valley Lake's fixing to open very soon. Uh, can't wait for that. Uh, usually not a lot of big fish, but a lot of fish. And uh, that's a, it's a great little community, great little lake, and, and it's just really, really fun place to fish uh, if you want to catch some trout. Especially uh, uh, a lot of your first timers, you want to take your kids somewhere, um, great place to go. Uh, usually the, the crowds aren't too bad, and uh, usually those that are there are not too, uh, too rowdy, <laughs> if you are. Uh, they're just there to fish and have a good time. So so it's a real good place to check out, so make sure you check it out. And uh, until next time, tie lines.